Recent events have led everyone to explore or to rediscover their own backyards. Here in South Coast, New South Wales, we're lucky enough to have one of the most beautiful backyards on the planet. And this channel has always been about encouraging folks to get out there and explore it. Two years ago, I created a video designed to showcase some of the lesser known amazing beaches in this region. And now I'm back with a second installment, bringing you five more beaches you've probably never visited. Also known as Five Mile Beach, Bawiri is one of the south coast's longer beaches and also one of its most overlooked. Located within the Budiri National Park on the southern ocean facing side of the bay, Bawiri is one of the highest energy beaches on the south coast, as evidenced by the fact that several ships were wrecked here back in the day. It's a rugged, scenic and rippy beach with two sandbars running the entire length, making it great for fishing the gutters. If you like a surf then you can find a great wave here when the swell's coming out of the east and southeast, but it's best for moderate to advance surfers. The most popular way to access Bawiri is to park up at the Cave Beach car park and walk south through the campground past Ryan Swamp, but you can also drive to the southern end down Elmoose Road. If you want access to facilities, then be sure to pitch your beach tent at the northern end of the beach where a short walk will give you access to the Cave Beach toilet block, beach showers and rubbish bins. It's often the case that some beaches get overlooked because they have a famous nearby relative, and that's definitely the case with Conjola. Visitors to the area are more likely to spend time on Lake Conjola with its excellent fishing and boating opportunities, or Kanjurong with its great surf spot, but they're missing out if they don't explore the adjacent beach. Conjola Beach stretches three and a half kilometers south from the lake entrance down to a small rocky promontory that marks the start of Buckley's Beach. Conjola Beach is always a great choice for a visit because it's pristine and roomy and very quiet even during the busy summer months when other South Coast beaches heave under visitor numbers. The beach is backed by Narrawally Creek Nature Reserve, which is a leafy and quiet national park that's great for bird watching and fishing. Kajola Beach is a great place to relax, to swim and to surf, and it's well worth checking out if you're staying locally. secret beaches are tucked away 30 kilometers down an unsealed road in a national park. Some of them are hidden in plain sight. That's certainly the case with Walker's Beach which is located midway between the popular coastal towns of Jeringong and Jeroa. The reason that Walker's has flown under the radar for so long is because there's no obvious way to access it. No well signposted track and no way onto it from the coast to the north or the south. In fact the only way onto Walker's is by parking at a tiny car park opposite Winjua Road and then following the northern perimeter fence of the Jeringon Golf Course down onto the beach. It's an unusual access method, but well worth the effort because Walkers is a terrific little beach nestled in the gaps between the rocky headlands of Blackhead and Boat Harbour. This is a great place to go fishing, to chill out, and if you're competent, to surf, but it's not the best for swimming due to the rocks, the rips, and the remoteness. Beaches on the northeastern edge of Jervis Bay are usually a lot quieter than those on the opposite side of the bay. That's because they can only be accessed when the Beecroft Weapons Range is open to the public, which is usually only at weekends and school holidays. Cabbage Tree is the last of the beaches located within the boundaries of the range and is usually a refuge from the crowds that flock to nearby Honeymoon Bay. Nearby Long Beach is nice too, but it's an official boat launch area and unfortunately some idiots break range regulations by driving and parking their four-wheel drives on the beach, which ruins the serenity for everyone. Cabbage Tree Beach is a beautiful little one kilometre stretch of pristine white sand with no vehicular access. It's the perfect beach to visit when the wind is forecast because it's beautifully protected by the high bushland behind it. There's a decent sized car park, a toilet facility and boardwalk access down onto the beach.
My final choice for most overlooked beaches is also one of the smallest in the entire region. It's not a beach you'd want to sunbathe on, but it's still well worth a visit thanks to the rocks that give it its name. The unique geology of this part of the Muramarang National Park means the rocks here are hard chert and rhyolite, and when they hit one another, they make music. What's unique about singing stones is that the little beach is framed by a perfect acoustic bowl shape that naturally amplifies the sound, and if you stand in the right spot, you get an immersive audio effect quite unlike anything you'll find on the whole south coast. Getting to singing stones is easy, just park up at the pretty beach campground and head south for about 800 meters. It's worth mentioning however that sometimes the rocks in the little beach are covered with sand, in which case there will be no music and it also depends on the kind of swell that's hitting the coast and bigger waves are not necessarily better. And that concludes this second instalment of five beaches you've probably never been to. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content. Bye for now.